Hey, what's going on, Ape and Ape Bets? I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, doing a little bit of digging on the uh, Spider-Man and the AMC NFT, just kind of figuring out what I can find. I had a little bit of free time today, so I dug around, and I did find a, a couple interesting things. Number one, uh, they're being released by, or deployed, although it's on the WAX platform, WDNY.io is the company that is releasing the NFT, or that is deploying it. And if you look at them, they have a lot of big partners, right? So these are like some of the biggest guys in the WAX platform. They deal with some big brands, Hot Wheels, Miss Universe, Power Rangers, Iron Maiden, a lot of the Funko stuff, Big Boy, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Muhammad Ali, uh, Tops, their baseball cards, Godzilla, Atari, and the list goes on and on for a lot of reputable brands. So that's a good thing. They hired a good, good, strong company that uh, is going to go ahead and probably do this the right way. But going through here, we're able to kind of dig into the blockchain a little bit. We can see a lot of these authorized accounts. And what I was doing, I was just taking these authorized accounts that are connected to this project and just using the Wax Block Explorer to kind of figure out a few things. So we can see like when we start looking through the actual Block Explorer, we can start seeing that they are doing some things like the value select open pack to unpack or view inventory. So we know that your Spider-Man gift code has been redeemed. So we can kind of see that, but going into the config file doesn't really show us a whole lot more, at least in terms of what they're doing, right? So you can see everything that's kind of connected to Spider-Man, but that you can see they're connected to Blade Runner and a couple other things. But what's interesting, and I think this is gonna be the main focus of the video, is the rarity so when you open nfts or you're buying an nft especially minting one a lot of times it comes you can look at it like it's a card pack or a pokemon pack and when you open it open it you're hoping to get something rare so through the back end we're actually able to identify uh what the rarities are so for example uh this is from their fact sheet they'll frequently ask questions but we're able to kind of dig in a little bit early and we could see that 65% of the NFTs are the logo NFT, which means it's probably just going to be the Spider-Man logo. 31% of them are abstract, which we don't know what that means. It's obviously probably a different variation of this. Um, and then you have the illustration or comic book illustration, which is 3%, right? So each rarity is gorgeously crafted and animated. Get all 108 unique NFTs to finish your collection. So... If you're looking to get one of the rare ones, you're gonna be looking for these comic book illustrations, these 3% ones. Those are gonna be the rarest parts of the of the set. So that's pretty good news. We're able to see some of that. And when we go back to Atomic Hub, and now Atomic Hub, where we're at here, is basically the marketplace for wax NFTs. So if you're familiar with NFTs, like OpenSea is a big one when it comes to Ethereum. Atomic Hub is what you use for wax. And if you book, look at this site, if you actually are kind of spying on this or checking it before it comes out, we might be able to get a view or a look of what the NFTs look like before they're actually released based off these templates. Obviously, there's nothing here right now, but we hope that uh, some of that will show. So you can see some of this key, this blockchain data down here. That really doesn't tell us a whole lot. And then obviously, you can start looking through these blocks. There's transactions happening. I've even seen some people even staking some of these, right? So on November 27th here too, we could see that there was an offer ID uh, recipient. So the Spider-Man team itself received an NFT from this address, and this is the asset ID. Unfortunately, we can't really go and track what that is, but I would imagine they're just getting everything set up. Um, but at the end of the day, what I'm the reason why I'm making this video is because I think that you guys could probably get some use. So if you go to Atomic Hub, at the top, all you got to do is just hit search. You can't really see it on my screen. Let me move this down a little bit so you can see it. Okay. Oops. That's not what I'm trying to do here. Like this. Okay. So the search button right here, this is all you got to do. Atomic hub dot or wax dot atomic hub dot IO. Simply search Spider-Man. And you're going to see Spider-Man No Way Home. Here's the NFT. And again, this is the company that's releasing it. And then... There's a lot of data to be found through snooping through these authorized accounts on the Block Explorer. So to give you guys a quick example, let's just say I copied this, come over back to the Block Explorer, 
search this account. Oops. And then boom, it pulls it up and we can start looking at transactions that they've done. Obviously, the, the, these guys are doing a lot. Hot Wheels, though, same connection. So Hot Wheels is another brand of WDNY, right? So you'll see a lot of that stuff in there. So it will take you some digging, but you will be able to find out um, a little bit about the NFT before it's released. And I'm digging into the actual AMC NFT as well, but I do not see a whole lot of information there currently anyways. But at the end of the day, we do know the rarities and I'm hoping to pull one of the comic book illustrations because I know those are going to be one of the rare ones. So hopefully this gives you guys a little bit of insight of where we're going and where you guys can dig in and kind of sink your teeth into the meat and bones of this and get information yourselves. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Love you long time. Peace.